I welcome you guys all once again back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be looking at some of the features of the Napstanet uh, Napstanet VR uh, app. Uh, most people have been asking me how it functions, so today I took it upon myself just to take us through some of the features of the app. So we start with the home button, as we all can see. They say not connected, and we can see the file we are connected to here okay so this is where when you want to connect you tap and you connect so seeing this play button here means you are not yet connected that's why it's not connected here okay so we click tap on it let's on our data okay then tap okay so seeing this check button means it is connected most of the time this is what happens you get add button add up so seeing this time see means it's connected and you can see it's connected so there's one thing i would like to show us here you, if you want to check if your data connection is working or yeah you are getting access to the internet you just tap you just tap to test so tap on it Okay, testing for connection okay to so said success HTTPS handshake took then it says MS meaning that it is working perfectly as far as you see success there that means it's working perfectly and another way to see that it's working is you come to the uh, st st start here and seeing it moving in this direction means it's working perfectly by the way it's working like this but when it begins to move straight at the down here when you see a straight line at the middle that means it's no more connecting or it begins to move in a straight line without it going up and down that means the data connection is becoming weak and also it can disconnect at any time but when you see a line a straight line let me show you by disconnecting Oh, there is no straight line here but when you see a straight line as I'm saying there will be a straight line at the middle that means it's not working or when you come here and tap on the handshake it won't give you this adequate information it will tell you something time out okay so let's move to the config the second one config configs so this is where when you import files they have been saved this is where you can find all your imported files <coughs> so when you want to add another file or let's say you've created an, uh, how do you call it a file and you want to import it you come to this plus sign here then you tap on it so when someone sends you a file and you want to connect you have to you have to go to import npv4 config file so when you click on it then you go and you check ok then you go and locate where the file is being been saved on your storage then you after locating it you just tap on it then it will automatically be imported to that place i don't have any file there so i don't think going there will be necessary let's go back but i don't have any of uh, that file being saved then okay i think i have one here download where is it i think i saw i saw the oh is it here? okay i think i saw one this is to tap on is it importing file Config import success, imported successfully. That means it has been imported, and we can see it added up here. Good day. Even though I already have it here, but this is this is the last one. You can see these ones are different from this one. So this is the one that I just imported, and these are the ones I created. So the one with the uh, delete only the delete button means it is being locked, so you can't do anything about it. But seeing this way means you can edit them okay so we come here the import cloud config 
now there are certain times in which you can save the file as a cloud so when someone gives you such a file to import or such a file to connect you have to use this during your importation you import it using this how do you call it feature import cloud config then you'll be able to uh, uh, how do you call it import it and you connect and he said import copy from clip clipboard now here is when you have already uh, created a file i mean getting the file from the net and you, want, you have copied it and it's in your clipboard and you want to paste it they just come here and you select which of the files in which you created so the ones you created if it is a url or json or uh, how do you call it facing server entry you just choose which of them which of them that you created and you tap on it it's automatically important if uh, unsuccessful because i don't have any file in my clipboard like that that's why it, it didn't go through so the next one is import from uh, import config from kr code now sometimes when you go to the site and you create your v2 ray app your v2 ray uh, how do you call it file you could see there is a view uh, how do you call it qr code attached to it so if you don't want to copy that that one the uh, the you don't want to copy the the, the file uh, how do you call it the words to your clipboard if you don't want to copy them you can just take a screenshot of the v2 way uh how am i making a mistake like that you can take a photo i had to call it a screenshot of the qr code then when you come here just click on that then you have to it will take you to your storage then you locate which of the uh, qr code to scan then it will, it will automatically be scanned and the file will import here. See permission denied because I didn't do anything. So the file will appear here. These are where the files will appear when you import them. And this one is when you want to add the config manually. That is when you've written it down or something like that and you want to manually type them. But these ones are very tedious and I will not advise anyone to do that because it's not going to be an easy job typing all those things here because it's not going to be easy so i don't think it's advisable to use this one just use preferably we use clipboard that's the fastest way if you create a file and you want to import it but if you want to use the qr code to i want to there's no problem about it okay so we move to the stats we've already been here and i've explained that when you see it like this that means it's working and also we go to logs here you see if you are connected the video started that means it's connected okay and here is a setting settings okay so these are the settings nothing that's all for this all right thank you for being with me and i hope you understand uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the like button so that and, and, and the notification button so that uh, you don't miss any